So now that you've connected the board, let's go ahead and program it. So this is your program. Again, I would like to remind you to check the board, make sure you selected the right board and the correct serial port. And also the programmer will be AVR ISP MK2. So go ahead and click on upload. It's going to take a couple of seconds before the board gets programmed. So the board is getting programmed and after a few seconds you will see the output on the seven segment display. That's when the board starts functioning. And as you see that the counter has begun. So that was the program that we wrote that is the counter goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's go ahead and make some changes in the program. Let's make some basic changes to see how it works. Now in the loop function, let's do something very interesting. Let's first change the delay to 500 just to see if we can increase the speed of the counter. Let's go ahead and click on upload. So the board is getting programmed and now we'll wait for a few seconds before the board starts giving an output. Now as you see the speed of the counter has increased. It's counting much faster. So that's another experiment. Let's look at another example. So what we will do is instead of counting up, we will count down. We will say i is equal to 10. i greater than or equal to 0. So we start with 9, sorry, because we're counting up to 9. i equal to 9, i greater than equal to 0, i minus minus. So we are counting down. So while we start with i is equal to 9, then we go i, as long as i is greater than or equal to 0, i minus minus. Let's go ahead and see the output. So the board has been programmed and we'll wait for the output. So now you see that it counts down instead of counting up, 9, 8, 7. So this was a down counter. We made a few changes in the program. So we saw some programming example and also how to interface the seven segment LED with the Arduino board. Please practice this lab. I shall see you in the next lab session. Thank you.